In today's video, we're going to give you some tips and tricks for when you're visiting Edinburgh. We've mentioned a few of these before in other videos, but we thought we'd compile everything in one video, which will hopefully be helpful. They're in no particular order, so let's get into it. If you're out and about and your phone is running low on battery, there are bus stops on Princess Street that have USB chargers. But even if you're not waiting at a bus stop on Princess Street, if you'll be taking a Lothian Buses bus in Edinburgh, the newer buses have USB chargers between the seats. If you're wondering if tap water is safe to drink in Scotland, then here's your answer. Yes, it is. Not only that, there are water filling stations dotted around the country called top-up taps where you can refill your reusable water bottle when you're out and about. There's a handy online map that shows all top-up tap locations in Scotland, which you can find in the description below. And since the tap water is safe to drink in Scotland, if you'd like to save a little bit of money when eating out, ask for tap water in restaurants, which is always free. If you decide to take an Uber or other private hire car to or from Edinburgh Airport, you should know about the cost of the airport's drop-off and pick-up fee, which is one of the most expensive in the UK, at a flat fee of £5 for drop-offs and £5 for pick-ups. This fee is chargeable in the drop-off slash pick-up zone at the airport, which is located on the ground floor of the multi-storey car park outside the terminal building. If you want to avoid this fee, the airport has a free drop-off and pick-up area, which is at their long-stay car park. There aren't currently any shuttle buses that run between the terminal and the car park, but it's only a walk of approximately five to seven minutes. You just have to head towards the taxi rank and there are clear signs and a walking route. If you're on a budget, or even if you're not, there are a multitude of museums, galleries, and other attractions in Edinburgh that are free. These include the National Museum of Scotland, the Museum of Edinburgh, the Writers' Museum, the Scottish National Gallery, the Scottish National Portrait Gallery, the Royal Botanic Garden, and more. You can find a fuller list of free attractions in our accompanying blog post, which you'll find in the description below. If your stay will only be contained within Edinburgh, don't hire a car. Edinburgh is a very compact city, so you're much better off walking or using public transportation to get around. You also then avoid the very expensive parking charges that come with taking a car around Edinburgh. If you'd like to know more about how to get around Edinburgh without a car, then be sure to check out our video all about that up here or in the description below. Edinburgh's weather can be quite unpredictable and changeable, so your best bet is to wear layers. It might be chilly and rainy in the morning, but warmer and sunnier in the afternoon. As well, feel free to pack an umbrella, but don't necessarily rely on it if it rains because Edinburgh can also be quite windy. If it's raining and windy, don't even bother taking your umbrella out and rely on a waterproof jacket instead. Make sure also to wear a comfy and sturdy pair of shoes as there are lots of cobbles in Edinburgh. If you're looking to buy some souvenirs to take home or gift to others, consider buying from local independent shops. There are many shops along and off the Royal Mile that are owned by a bigger conglomerate, so we'd recommend shopping locally where possible. Check out our accompanying blog post for some ideas for where to shop. If you won't have data or you run out of data while you're in Edinburgh, don't panic because there is free Wi-Fi in the city. On your device, just select any free Wi-Fi from the list of available networks, input your details, and you're good to go. The coverage area is, generally speaking, Edinburgh's old and new towns, and you can find more detailed maps of the coverage area in our accompanying blog post. If you'll be taking a Lothian Buses bus or tram while you're in Edinburgh, you can also get free Wi-Fi on board. There will be an available network indicating free Wi-Fi, and you'll just have to accept the terms and conditions to be connected. And last but not least, a lot of people get confused by what the UK really is, so let's clear this up. The United Kingdom is comprised of four countries, England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. So while Scotland is part of the UK, it is also its own country, separate from England. So don't call the locals English. We hope this was helpful for your visit to Edinburgh. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below and we'll be happy to help. Please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video include the National Museum of Scotland, the, Na the <laughs> so many museums, bubbles in Edinburgh. I see, you're finished.